Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit WordPress files using FTP as well as cPanel. Now, this is going to allow you to access the code that is powering your website. And you might want to do this in order to uh, make any customizations to themes or plugins, to fix anything that's gone wrong, or generally make any code changes. Now, this is a little bit more advanced and you're going to need a couple of details, um, but I'm going to walk you through all of the processes. First, we're gonna have a look at cPanel. Now, cPanel is an industry standard dashboard for customizing web hosting. Um, so you're gonna see it looking something like this, perhaps with a different theme, but the uh, general applications are going to be the same. You're going to want to click on File Manager, um, which should be at the top here, and um, you want to go to the web route. You want to choose your website as well. You want to press go, and that's going to load up the uh, root of your website. And we can see here, we have the standard WordPress installation. We can see we've got the WP admin, WP content, WP includes, as well as these standard files here. Now I'm just gonna to head to WP content. Um, and in this example, I'm going to show you how to create a child theme, which is something you'll often want to do in order to have sustainable changes to your WordPress theme. So I'm gonna to go to WP content and then click on themes as well. And we can see here, we just have the default WordPress themes installed at the moment. We're now going to create a new folder um, just by clicking on the top left here um, to click new folder. And we're gonna call this my awesome design and create, create new folder here. And then going to load up that design um, and then going to add a new file here. I'm just gonna call this style.css and click create new file. You can now see we have the file created, but it's empty at the moment. Um, so we might need to edit the code. Now you can do this by clicking on the file once to select it and then right clicking and pressing code edit. Now cPanel is going to give you a warning here about the uh, character set. Um, this is typically something you won't need to worry about unless you're using a non-Latin language, a non-Western language. Um, so most of you just be able to click edit here and you're going to be able to load up the file. I'm just going to add in a line of code here um, telling WordPress that this is the child theme. Um, so we'll just go for theme name equals my awesome design. We're gonna set the template to 2015 and then close that out there. Once I'm done, I can just press save changes in order to save those changes and have them applied to my site. Once I've saved those, I can press close and we're going to see that the uh, file has been edited there. So in order to edit any of these files through cPanel, you can use this um, navigation here in order to select the file you want to edit. So here I could load up the default WordPress theme 2015. Um, and if I wanted to edit the style sheet, for example, just need to press code edit and then press edit again here. And we're gonna see that loads up all of the code here and you're able to make any changes you want here and then just press save changes once you are done. We can see here we've got all of the default style sheet for 2015 here. So that's how you make changes using cPanel. As I said, you just need to load up the file you want to edit and then click on code edit and then edit again and then make the changes and press save once you are done. It is recommended that you do keep a backup of your site before you do that. You might want to have a look at a free plugin such as MyWP Backup in order to do that. Next, we're gonna have a look at how to edit files using a FTP editor. Now, as we can see, cPanel is web-based. Um, and if we head back to the uh, main page here, we're gonna see that um, this is the cPanel dashboard. However, you can also edit files from your computer. And to do that, you're going to need a thing called FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, um, and you need an FTP editor. Now, FileZilla is free and is uh, excellent for doing this. You can just Google FileZilla in order to find it. Um, and if I load it up here, then I'm gonna see that I have all of my details and I'm logged into my site here. We can see on the top left, I've got my host, got my username, and as well as my password. And there's also a field for ports here. Now you can find your host by going to cPanel and creating a new FTP account. So this is something I did earlier. You want to set a username and a password and you can just paste these in here. And you also need to set a port. You don't need to really worry about the specifics of this, but essentially this allows you to select um, which channel you want to use to access your server. Most hosts are going to have port 21 set as the default. Um, and if we click connect and just connect in this current tab, 
then we're going to see this is going to enable us to connect to the site and we're now reconnected here. Different hosts sometimes have different ports set up um, so you would need to uh, check with them. It would probably say very prominently if that was the case. It's just a way of uh, choosing the channel that you're connecting through to your web server with and having a different port can uh, have security benefits. In order to uh, have a look at a file it's a very similar process. We're going to see again, we've got all of the files loaded here. Um, and if I head to WP content again, and then click on themes again, um, you can navigate around like this. Uh, say I wanted to edit my st uh, style sheet that I created earlier. I just need to click on my awesome design. And here we have style.css, which is the file we just created. Um, now to edit this, I'm just going to download this by hitting return, and it's going to download onto my computer. I'm now going to load up the local directory where I just saved that file and we can see here style.css and if I open this um, using just a text editor then we can see we have the uh, same content we just added. If I wanted to just add a quick customization here such as a body background color you can just add some code in here just make this gray um, and then save that. I'm going to overwrite the local copy by saving that. And now I need to re-upload that and overwrite the file. You can see here, overwrite, in order to make those changes onto the live site. Once that is uploaded, the file is going to be changed and the change is going to be reflected immediately on my site. We can see here again, we can navigate around and we can perhaps load up 2015 again. If I wanted to edit any of these files, I can just download them as I just showed you. Again, load up the local folder and then just edit this with a text editor. So I'm just going to open this and we're going to see um, we've got this various code here. If I wanted to make any changes, I could make that, save those and then re-upload them in order to overwrite that. So you just need to press return and then click OK in order to overwrite those changes. You can see that you can access every single file that's used to make your WordPress installation run and therefore you're going to be very careful about making any changes so you don't uh, break anything on your site. Always make sure you keep a backup which you can just do by creating a separate folder and creating a uh, separate copy of the file before you make any changes. So that's just a quick introduction to making changes using cPanel and with FTP. cPanel is great for being web-based, but it doesn't offer the flexibility that running it on your own computer does as you get with FileZilla and using FTP. I hope this video has been a helpful introduction for you, and thank you very much for watching.